if you are in the place that I was a few weeks ago, actually deciding what my future would be if I want to live in this city, Exeter, for long term, or if I do not want to, this video is definitely for you. If you are a student or a young professional, or just a professional, thinking about moving to Exeter and what life would look like after moving to Exeter, this video is definitely for you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Bola Abioye and I provide insights on living in Exeter. I also do things that I love on this channel, traveling, skincare, and sometimes the behind the scenes of my life. So if these are topics that you're interested in, you should definitely stay tuned. Okay, to today's topic, I will unravel to you why I decided that living in Exeter is the best thing for me at the moment. And I hope that this is indeed useful to you. The first reason I decided to live in Exeter um, going forward is the fact that Exeter is such a nice and peaceful place. Okay, so Exeter is really peaceful, especially in the sense that, like, I'm not saying nowhere is perfect, obviously, but um, just looking around, the environment itself is calm, it is just like loving, warm, welcoming. Um, yeah, and I like that piece considering the fact that there were some riots in England recently. But Exeter was actually quite chill around that time. Um, of course, there was like opera and it wasn't like perfect, nowhere is like perfect, but Exeter was really chill compared to other places at that time. And so that even reinforced my decision to live in Exeter um, long term. Also, I went to London very recently and it just dawned on me that if you don't live in the very nice parts of London, um, sometimes it is not the best place to live, um, in spite of the fact that people that live in London get paid more. At the same time, the cost of living there is quite high, which is something that everyone knows and very aware. But where I'm getting to is that, you know, you pay so much to live in areas that are subpar compared to when you live in other cities where you get paid less, but your money can go further. You can choose to live in sort of like nicer, peaceful areas. Um, so like most places in Exeter are actually peaceful anyway. So imagine taking the money you earn and you already live in a peaceful city. So you don't have to sort of spend more to live in environments that are nice and peaceful. So that's what I mean when I say Exeter is nice and peaceful in general you don't want like problems or, like gangs or like knife problems or you know the other day i was working outside um and just sipping coffee outside a cafe and sipping coffee and i was just thinking to myself would i be comfortable doing this with this type of like you know gadgets in london um learning about you know the kind of things that happen in london just being outside a cafe which is pretty much by the roadside um, would I really, is this really safe? And I, I just, it just made me a bit grateful um, to live in Exeter. The other thing was like, the other thing was I was filming one other day and I left my um, phone on the ground, you know, as girls do. And I stood up to just film, turn around, that sort of thing. And I just thought to myself, if I lived in London, I've had horror stories. And my friend also told me some stories of things that happened to someone she directly knew in London. So like with London, I feel like all these incidents, they are closer um, to you than you think um, so people go through all sorts without even you know it's so you, you can't really tell what's going to happen in London it may be your lucky day it may not be your lucky day when I go to London for instance I have to be extremely careful again I keep making comparison between Exeter and London because they're such different cities and Exeter basically covers for smaller more quieter cities I hope you can understand the context here okay moving forward Exeter is like very close to the countryside although it is a city in itself it is closing to the countryside and that is quite chill like the fact that you know Exeter is close to places like Exmouth, which has a very nice beach. In the summer on my Instagram, I posted like some videos of me and my friends going to like the beach. And you know, when we were there on those sunny days and wearing like shorts and you know, j just things you'd wear around the beach. Um, it didn't feel like we were in England for a minute because we're used to like, you know, cold and rainy England. But just being by Exmouth, which is about 25 minutes drive out of Exeter, um, was very chill was very nice it was so good right 
um and that's just because that's out, just outside exeter how about the walks the fact that you know you could go like sailing for people that obviously own ships but like there's lots of like rivers and like you know it's closer to the english channels there's like an entry to the english channel that's what i'm saying um around like plymouth um so you know the countryside is quite great in that sense and people go camping not my thing personally but a lot of people that go camping and you know it's just a different way to live and i feel like that's one thing exeter has given me being a girl that grew up in a city myself and um, just realizing that there's a different way to actually live life and people live this slower kind of life where they can go cycling in nature and really just enjoying nature which is what like i suppose like caveman would have done more of um so like yeah exeter just gives you that chance to enjoy the countryside to see like a different side to life while also living in a city that is typically quieter anyway okay guys so my next point is that people are definitely more cultured in exeter i feel myself on edge when i'm in like some cities because like everyone is just a bit like cold a bit like and not to say that in exeter people are in your business but it's just that people are just sort of like more cultured a bit more like chill but still a bit warm not just brazy and not you know wanting to relate to people um not harsh people are definitely kinder around here and i can say this compared to when i've had things to do in like other bigger cities and not receiving that sort of energy um which is not something that is like the most important thing for me but it's just sort of a nicer thing to have it's not you know the be all and end all but it's just nicer to be in a place where and um, people are definitely well cultured a friend also came to exeter recently and said oh people actually dress well on the night out around here meaning people have been more dressy and that's something i truly enjoy myself um if i want to go out on a night out or like you know to dinner or go out with friends i like to dress well that's something like my family kind of invited in me growing up and so just being in a place where that is welcome that's acceptable everyone is not just in jeans or time i wear jeans by the way disclaimer um but just saying that people actually enjoy dressing up compared to actually this person i'm talking about came from bristol and she was saying oh like people are a bit dressier if i knew i would have dressed a bit better but what she was wearing that night is what's typically acceptable for you know a time out in bristol um where she's from no shade to bristol by the way i think bristol is a really great city um but you know this is what she told me and it just made me appreciate exeter even more um people people are just like you know culture obviously i'm talking about on the average and not just everyone but at least you have a good percentage of people that you know have enough time i suppose because it's more countryside people have more time to do things like their hobbies have more time to read have more time to you know be more artistic and that then generally puts humans in like a good place generally so you know this is something that i've really considered and has made me just end up saying i live in exeter i'm happy to live in exeter okay guys like i said at the beginning of the video um i want you to stay to the end of this video because like my fifth point is actually quite interesting um something that i think would be useful for anyone that has been faced with a decision of should i live in exeter should i not especially or should i continue living in exeter especially if you're an immigrant so definitely um stay and listen for that one now um another thing which is a big one that has made me like really stay in exeter is that i'm finally at that place where i am generally like calm and i have like a stable career which i think is very important in life like i think those big dreams and those big decisions of what you want to do in life actually comes about when you finally got into a place where maybe you are earning quite enough to do like hobbies or to do the things that are important to you in life um, when you've got into that place um, where it's just stable, you have steady income flow, there's a bit of job security, um, then you'd be definitely in that place where you can think bigger. You can say, okay, what do I actually want out of life? What do I want my 30s to look like? What do I want my 40s to look like? What do I want my 60s to look like? Um, so that I think that is one step to get on that ladder of thinking in life. And I feel like I have that in Exeter. So like if all these things are stable i don't want to necessarily like uproot um that that you know element of my life at the moment and you know start over somewhere else and this is something that's really personal for me and um, for me i've moved from another country 
um, that was done 30 months ago actually I moved from another country and you know I've achieved this level of stability and I'm like mm, I'm not ready to do it all over again maybe at some point in the future I would be but you have to stay with me for that journey so don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel um, because there is loads of content about Exeter living so if you like this video there is more there's an entire playlist and like Exeter living and just like how much you can do in accident you know what the advantages are what the cons are what the pros are and just little tips and hacks and there's definitely more coming so remember to hit that like button so that more people that need to see this video um that needs this to like help them on that decision they would see the video so let's try to help others by just hitting that like button and definitely subscribe to this channel for more stable career that is a big one and that is the fourth one now the final one this one hmm, is something that i have noticed is a trend i don't think there's any studies being done about it yet but you know that thing in science where they're like mm, you need to fact check you need to do this you need to do that but there's practicality there's things you can actually see happening in real life and people that have lived here for years and years are actually saying and that is the fact that exeter is opening up like there is definitely more diversity time and time again um, in Exeter. This is one concern I had where, when I shot my video last year about why I love living in Exeter and why I don't love li living in Exeter, which you should check out by the way. Uh -huh. So I'll link, the, I'll link that video up there. So there's more diversity here with time and I can see that trajectory because that wasn't the case when I initially moved here. Um, even though it was better, this was like sort of like one of the best places for me to stay stay in in the southwest. Um, there wasn't as much diversity as there is now, um, and it's heartwarming for me. I can't lie, as you know, an immigrant, that is something that's heartwarming for me, um, and that is something that has definitely solidified my one of you know my choice to stay in Exeter to continue living in Exeter long term um yeah so that's definitely happening people are moving here and you know why they may not be data to Peru online just driving in the streets you can just see more diversity like it's real in the shops you know at work you know talking to people um hanging out wherever you're seeing more and more diversity and that is so heartwarming for me and i love that you know i love diversity i love seeing um different people in this country just being who i am <laughs> okay uh so yeah guys that is it for me and i think that is something that would be um that is something that i think would actually progress with time i can definitely see the trajectory and that is exactly what i meant when i um that's why i wanted you to wait to listen to this part because like maybe it's not time to rush and leave soon maybe you can chill a bit and there's going to be even more okay with that being said thank you for watching this video and i think you should definitely check out other videos because i definitely think you'd find them helpful if you found this one really helpful okay and if you've enjoyed this video, then I will see you in my next video about what I have learned from living in Exeter over the past two years. I will see you in that video to 